Hello everyone, welcome to Gadge Ministries. It's Gadge speaking. Very, very quick word I have for you all. Whenever you come across a prophetic word on YouTube, or if somebody is prophesying to you off YouTube, please, 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 please do these two things. Number one, look at the season you're in. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 10 says, To everything there is a season, a time, for every purpose under heaven. There is a season, a time, for every purpose under heaven. If you are not in the right season and you're believing God for something specific, for example, marriage, please do not receive the word of prophecy that is released or that comes your way or that comes onto your timeline on YouTube. Be warned and be careful. And do not believe every word of prophecy that people, um, you know, put up on YouTube. Because not every word is for everybody again. And not everyone has that, has the um, spirit of God in them. People do things for so many different reasons. I've been attacked on my channel through so many comments lately, but I'm not going to reply or even say a word. But what I'm trying to encourage you here is this. I'm trying to admonish you. Not every word of prophecy is for you. Look at your season. God loves his children and he has blessings for every single one of us. But look at your season. This is very important. Look at your season. Look at your season. I know that I've been called by God to release these words of prophecies and teachings on marriage, on the blessing of marriage. Marriage is a prophetic blessing from God, but look at your season. Look at your season. This is the only reason why I'm doing what I'm doing because I know that I've been called and chosen. Ten years ago when I was living a life of disobedience and rebellion to God, there is no way I could come on here and release this word of prophecies and teachings to you all. But I'm in that same season right now with regards to marriage. And God is using me to help some women, to help some men. And it's a blessing to me. That's why I'm not allowing the um, negativity to bother me so much. But why am I releasing this word to you? Please, prophetic words. Look at your season first. And can you tell if that person that is giving that word of prophecy to you, do they have the spirit of God in them? Do they fear God? How do they speak about God and the kingdom? Because as a believer in Christ, you have different seasons and cycles. Where I was 10 years ago is not where I am today. God has blessed me so much and is using me to help other people like I've mentioned. So please be warned. Focus on where God has placed you and do not hunger for what he hasn't called you to receive. Do not desire for what he hasn't called you to receive yet. Stay where you are. If you're in the season of building, building up your faith and trust in him, stay where you are and continue to build. When it's time for you to get married, and those word of prophecies come your way, then you can tell, yes, it's for me, or no, this is not for me. God bless you all, and I pray that God continues to keep you and guide you, and I pray that you will use the spirit of discernment. Let the Holy Spirit help you to continue to knowing the right season and the right times in your life to believe for God's blessings and according to his will for you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God bless you all.